thinking, you know, these days, cars are basically just computers on wheels, right? One big computer, smart, intelligent, AI-driven computer, chip-driven computer on four wheels. And we just heard a second ago Elon Musk of Tesla saying, you know, we've probably just got no choice. We're going to have to build a giant chip fab. And I'd like to just dovetail that into what Nissan was saying, because, you know, it's, it's had supply disruption from Nexperia and as a result is actually next week reportedly going to have to scale back production of a very popular rogue SUV in Japan because it can't get its hands on enough chips. And this is a major problem. This is something that cars, car makers like Nissan have, have very little control over. Yeah, they might be able to control some fixed costs like, you know, selling off the Yokohama HQ and leasing it back. But there are certain things that some car makers absolutely have beyond their control. Man, you know, I'll take it even a step further, right? Uh, in order for there to be chips, whether they're used in cars or anything else, data centers or weaponry or, or any of the uh, uh, thousands of other things that we need for, for daily life, right? In order to have chips, we need rare earths and critical minerals. So I think yeah. the supply chain choke actually starts there. And we've been talking about this for, uh, for weeks now, right? How China just dominates, really not just the mining, but more importantly, the processing of rare earths and, uh, and critical minerals. So I think uh, we need to think about that from uh, uh, that perspective. But, uh, you know, uh, mm. man's on this whole full self-driving thing, uh, I, I probably should get around more than, I, more than I actually do these days, but I haven't actually tried hopping into a, a self-driving taxi. Have you? Like a Waymo or something? Oh, I have. Do they have them Actually, down in yes. Oz? Yes, I have for the very first okay. time. And it was completely unexpected as well. Uh, I was in Dubai uh, a number of weeks ago. And uh, I, I pulled up the, um, I think it was an Uber app, might, be, might have been another app, and it gave a self-driving option. I'm like, oh my God, amazing. Jumped in, but then there was a guy sitting there, like a taxi driver sitting there. I'm like, oh, I thought I chose the self-driving option. He said, yeah, the car is self-driving, but we're not yet at the stage where we can't have also a human sitting there and monitoring the situation. So it was a self-driving taxi with a guy just sitting there, just watching the scenery go by. <laughs> well, you're progressive and you're brave, man, so, uh, you know, uh, to hop in the cab and go, uh, what, what are you doing here? You're a driver, you know. I ordered one without a driver. Yeah. Because, you know, the thing is, uh, with, with EVs, right, uh, the original sort of worry or stress or anxiety, anxiety was, was range anxiety, right? Is it going to get me to point B mm. without running out of battery, right? Now with the full self-driving, it's more, uh, for humans at least, I think it's more, uh, it's, a, it's a control and sort of safety issue, right? But when you think about it, but when we fly, right, planes are essentially flying taxis, right? Do we care? Do mm -hmm, we know mm -hmm. whether it's being piloted? We never see the guy up at the front of the cockpit, uh, right? So, you know, it's, it's <laughs> kind of hard to understand why folks are, are, are uh, just as nervous, if not more nervous, about getting into a car without a driver in it. So, I don't know. Go figure. I think the I, advocates, though, Marty, say that um, the, the computer is more reliable than a human when you consider just how many human related errors there are leading to, you know, injuries and fatalities on the road, roads every single year. They say, you know, I, I think the, the, on, on, on average, the, the computer is going to be more reliable and more accurate. I don't know. We'll have, I mean, it's going to happen. So we'll wait and see. Well, computers don't need sleep and coffee. Uh, you know, that's the thing. All right. <laughs>